Hello, greetings from Colorado Springs. My name is Lance Kohler and I'm the president of Cornerstone Real Estate Team. Today I'd like to talk to you about fees we do not charge. So we recently did a video on, on our fees. Talked about our management fees, our leasing fees. We have a admin and technology fee. Those are all posted on our website or you can uh, catch our recent video where we discuss the fees that we do charge. Today I'd like to talk about fees we do not charge. So prospective clients, when they're looking for a property management company, they're interviewing property managers, they're often comparing fees. So this company may charge X for a leasing fee, this company may charge X plus 10 for a leasing fee, or this company charges you know, Y for Y percent for their management fee, and this company has a flat rate. So it's a, it's a good practice. You should know, you, you definitely wanna know what you're gonna be expected to pay and what you're gonna pay for when you're uh, interviewing a company, I just thought it would be a, a good point to uh, point out some of the differences and in, in maybe some of the fees that we don't charge that some other companies may. Um, so look at what's not being charged as well. For example, uh, here are some fees that we don't charge, um, but some other companies may. And so consider that in your comparison. We don't charge an onboarding fee. Onboarding fee or a new account fee, or initiation fee, a setup fee, all of those uh, generally talk about the, the cost incurred or the time and effort incurred in onboarding a new owner or bringing on a new property to your business. And so you're setting up accounts, bank accounts, accounts in your property management software, you're doing initial inspections of the property, you're bringing a new owner on board and, and there's, there's time and uh, resources expended in that. We don't, we don't charge a fee for that. That's rolled up into our, our management fee. Um, we don't charge a management fee when the property is vacant and not, not bringing in any income. So for the owner, if you're not receiving income for your investment property, we're not making any money either. We did another video on aligned interests, and that's one of the ways that we make sure our interests are aligned with yours. So if you're not getting paid, we're not getting paid either. We don't charge a marketing or advertising fee. Now we do charge a leasing fee for new leases on a property, but we don't charge you for uh, the different uh, websites that we list the property on, or we don't charge you for any additional marketing. If we do a video tour, or we do a, a 360 video tour, or if we uh, advertise on some paid websites, um, we do, uh, any additional marketing if we put it on social media we we don't charge extra for that that's all incorporated in our leasing fee there's not a, a marketing fee or an advertising fee or anything like that um, additionally we we don't charge on top of maintenance invoices an upcharge or a surcharge and what i mean by that is if you had uh, if we replaced your disposal uh, at your property and it cost a hundred dollars that's what the invoice is from the vendor that's what you will pay is is the, exactly what's on the invoice from the vendor. Uh, some companies I've heard uh, charge uh, an upcharge or a surcharge on top of that uh, to compensate them for the time for coordinating the repair and that sort of thing. I'm, I understand that. Uh, we just we don't do that. We don't charge a fee for showing properties, so that goes in again with the leasing fee, uh, showing the property, marketing, advertising, etc., screening, all that's included in our leasing fees so there's not additional fees for for those uh those tasks lastly we we don't charge large fees to the tenant um, and what i'm talking about there is uh i i know there's some companies uh, across the u.s that don't charge the owner a leasing fee but they may charge a large an admin fee or a lease admin fee or a document fee to the tenant at the start of the lease and why we don't do that, because I, I think that's a deterrent for the tenant to rent your property. I think you're gonna, if, you, if there's something like that in place, you're gonna, your property's gonna be vacant longer because a tenant can look, you know, they could rent your property for 1600 a month and pay a couple more hundred dollars up front uh, with a lease admin fee, or they could rent the property down the street for 1600 a month with no lease admin fee. And uh, which, which do you think they'll choose? I think they're gonna choose the, the cheaper option because they're already paying rent up front, 
perhaps a you know half a month's prorated rent depending when they're moving in the next month's rent security deposit and now in some cases uh, a couple hundred dollars or more in a lease admin fee so we don't charge la uh, large fees to the tenant like that up front um, if you have questions on the fees we do charge like i said we've you know have a previous video and those are all on our website so you're welcome to check those out but uh, today i, I kind of wanted to cover what we don't charge um, so I, I hope that's uh, of interest to you. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.